Hi, so we have another problem here, and it gives us the following information. Suppose ABC is a right triangle with sides ABC and a right angle at angle C. You use the Pythagorean theorem to find the unknown side length, then find the values of the six trigonometric functions for angle B. Rationalize the denominators when applicable. So for this particular problem, we're only going to do, we're only going to find the unknown side and we're going to rationalize. So we have the triangle at the top right and we have sides A, which is 9, and side C, which is 18. So that means we have to figure out what side B is. So in order for us to do this, we would have to do the Pythagorean theorem. Where if we can recall, the Pythagorean theorem was a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay? So let's fill in the missing information. So we have side a, which is 9. So this would be 9 squared. We're trying to find side b, so that would be b squared. And then side c, which is 18. So that would be 18 squared. So now we have to do some computation. So 9 squared, that would be 81. We don't know what side B is, so that would be B squared. And then 18 squared, that would be 324. To solve for B, we need to subtract 81 on both sides. So minus 81 on both sides of our equation. So that means we would have b squared equals 243. Okay. Now to get b by itself, we would take the square root on both sides of our little equation. So we would have b equals the square root of 243. So here is the tricky part. The directions specifically state to simplify your answer including any radicals, Use integers or fractions for any numbers in the expression. In order for us to simplify this, we have to perform prime factorization. So to simplify the square root of 243, we would have to go through our list of perfect squares. In other words, let me do a list down here. I'm going to go through the list from 1 to 10. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, and then 10 squared equals 100. Okay, so we have to figure out 243, just 243, divided by the numbers on the right side of these equations in the list of perfect squares. When we divide, do we get a nice pretty number? Actually, yes we do, because if we take 243 and if we divide it by 81, we actually get 3. Now, to move forward with this, the square root of 243 is equal to the square root of 81 times the square root of 3. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because the square root of 81 is a nice, pretty number, which is 9. The square root of 3 just remains the square root of 3. And that's how we're able to simplify the square root of 243. The goal whenever you simplify using prime factorization, you want to get a perfect square and a prime number for your answers when you are trying to reduce. That's the ultimate goal when you're using prime factorization. So at the very end, our simplified answer for the square root of 243 would be 9 times the square root of 3, or 9 square root of 3. As always, let me know if you have any questions of any kind. 
Recall, we're using the Pythagorean theorem and we're using prime factorization to simplify our answer.